Uh, here is our terrain. Uh, we still have the outside section left over from the last battle report. Uh, and here is our new inside of the Harden facility. The entire outside area is going to be the deployment zone for the Emperor's children. There is going to be one foot of no man's land there. And the inside of the facility is going to be my deployment zone. So uh, not a lot of terrain in there, but we'll see what we can do about it. So the missions we're going to be doing today are similar to the last one. Each unit destroyed is going to, or falling back at the end of the game is going to be worth one victory point to the side that destroyed it or made it fall back. These two hematrope reactors down here, they're going to be worth one victory point to Rich if he destroys them uh, and to me if they're left whole at the end of the game. They're going to be operating by these rules here. You can pause if you want to check those out for a long period of time. Uh, and we're also doing Slay the Warlord as well. So technically that, eight, that Warlord character is going to be worth two victory points. The wall here separating Rich's deployment zone. Um, as you can see, some of these are uh, Necromander bulkhead doors, and some of these are actually metal columns. The metal columns are indestructible, but the bulkhead doors, they are armour 13, I believe it was. 13 or 12, I can't I, I believe it was 13, yeah. and they've got a single hull point each. Um, We've also got doors, there's one there, uh, there's another one there, another one there, and another one at the end there, and they're going to be basically f allow infantry to pass through freely. Alright, starting off from the left, we have a squad of 10 Legion veterans, the guy at the front has got artificer armour, bolt pistol and close combat weapon. Moving on, we have the same really, another Legion... Um, 10 veterans, artificer armor, bare bones. They both have the sniper special rule. All right, moving on to the back. We've got a unit of five missile launcher guys. Um, the guy at the front's got artificer armor, apart from that, bare bones, really. Down. Uh, at the front, we have a Praetor, and he has a Paragon Blade, and an Iron Halo, and a Bolter. The jump pack is just there for looks, really. You couldn't really tear that off, I wouldn't make no, any of that. No, no. <laughs> and finally? And we also have Kakovnis, unit of five, and the guy at the front's got Artificer armor. Okay. And the and, guy... And that, actually, finally. Yeah, and the guy at the back, big nasty, he's a Contemptor Dreadnought with two Carries Assault Cannons, so... I've seen him before. Yeah. See him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so here are the facilities defending forces and operational staff. Down here we have a tech priest auxilia. They have two servo arms in the unit on the, uh, the servitors you can see there. Both of the Magos, the, uh, the adepts, they are Magus auxilia adepts and those guys have a melt bomb each. This guy here he is our Magos Prime. He has a Machinator Array, an Abayant, as you can see, and a Mastercrafted Graviton Gun. His colleague to his left, he is a Mag uh, Magos Dominus. He has a Mastercrafted Photon Thruster and a Servo Arm. This is the other squad of uh, Tech Priest Auxilia, again, Magos Adepts. But this squad has uh, three Flamers and a Servo Arm on the Servitors. And like the other squad, both of these Adepts are both Lacrimata, uh, no, Lacerae Mater. <laughs> adept and supporting them we have a barebone squad of Skillax, a second barebone squad of Skillax, and a third barebone squad of Skillax. So here we are deployed. Uh, these are the Emperor's children banging on the doors. Here we have the uh, the control of the facility with some of the, uh, the elite, more elite members about to answer the door. Uh, Another Tech Priest Auxiliar over there. And Skillax, 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 trying to get up lines for when they do eventually bust through. And way over there in the corner, they've got the Magos Dominus. Right, so I just kind of shimmied up. I was a bit wary about going through the second door with my troops if I'm going to try and blow open this bulkhead door in front of the Dreadnought. So I'm hoping to move through it next turn, probably. Didn't move these two units either, so they will be firing a full ballistic skill. Um, that's about it there, really. It's just this squad moved up through the door. 
Right, so I'm going to shoot my five missile launchers into the door. Do it. So I'm looking for threes. So we've got two hits. And I'm looking for fives. So right, so I'm going to have to use a contemptor anyway. Got 12 shots. Looking for twos. So, now I'm looking for sixes. So one six, we'll do. There you go. Got two of them. Boom, boom. So. Door section goes. So, I'm going to shoot some shots and make a coffin, I think. Just yes. need to check some line of sight. So, front guy. Looking for... Freeze. So, that's one gets hot. One hit. The second one. One hit. The third guy. And the last guy. Two hits. Oh. So an armor save from the front guy. Two up armor save. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's still upright. He's all right. He's keen. Right. So the majority toughness of the squad. Uh, that will be toughness five. The weapon strength six. So let him freeze the wound. Freeze the wound. Two rest. Five armor saves. Okay. Well, um, I'll take the first two wounds on those servitors. Whoop. Whoop. The lacrimalis gives those feel no pain, doesn't it? Let's see if I can save those servitors. No, three saves on my warlord. Uh, it's he's got um, Do it once, uh, no, he's got three up. I'm gonna save. Okay. Which he still gets. Okay, so he's on one wound now. You get me. Glad he give you a token for that. This unit here, we're yep. shooting four shots. Tactical squad. At the skelex. Yeah. So I'm looking for freeze to hit. Ouch. They are sniper rounds, so I'm looking for fours to wound. Yeah. It's usually toughness five. Yeah. One wound. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah. Uh, so the Skellax have a four up save, which they can take. Yep. Bolt gun. Ugh. So uh, that's one wound off of that Skellax. Can you grab me another token? Okay, I'm doing. And finally, I'm going to be taking three shots at this unit here with two bolters. And the bolter for this guy, which I did pay for two points. Cool. So looking for freeze. So two hits. Yeah. Um, sniper. Yeah. Two wings. Oh man. Would have mattered anyway. Onto the feel no pain safe because of the luxury martyr. Makes one. Makes one. So one of the bites of dust. But. Right, and that's it. Apart from, if this unit's not fearless. Uh, yeah, so is this the leadership test for wounds or is it for the weaponry? Right, it's for the funky effects, for the weaponry. Yeah. But you've got stubborn, so it's just your lot. Yeah, like... leadership nine. Come on, come on. Ooh, he's got eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're all good, I think. Uh, so now the ones for the casualties uh, that were lost. Makes that same again. <laughs> nice. The uh, Magos Dominus has stayed where he is. That group of tech adepts who have taken the casualty, they're staying where they are because they're just going to get charged if they move forward anymore. Those Skellax move forward because they're ripe for it, as did these and these. And my Magos, uh, yeah, despite being down on one wound, he's yeah, still trying to get in on the fight because, you know, well, why not? So, um, shooting. I'm going to start off with the Graviton gun from the, the Magos. So, uh, it's got scatter dice here. One, one hit. Oh. Oh. How much does it scatter by? Oh, wait, uh, mastercrafted. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'll take that. So, uh, it's a single haywire strike against your dread. The glass. So, a, a single glance, so chip a whole point off. We've got a five up inbun save, though. Oh, yeah, of course. So, let's try that. Wait. Oh. Oh, I just took a load of risk for nothing. These guys down here, uh, they've got line fire. of sight past the dredge to that tactical squad yes. over there. Yeah. Four shots, uh, looking for threes. That's two. And uh, four ups to wound. Oh. oh. Okay, well that was that one. So next squad over there, similar sort of situation. We've got four shots going in there. That's three, three hits. hits. Looking for fours to wound. One wound. <laughs> right, I'm going to take a two up. Armour safe, I presume oh. it's on this guy. Yeah, there. yeah. 
Because this brilliant artifice is like last time. No, they're much better. That's the, the artifice armors actually work. Okay, um, so the last thing that I have is the Mastercrafted Photon Excellent. Thruster over there. It's a 48 inch range, so I know I've got... Well in range. Yeah, for, for, yeah. Um, it's heavy too, with gets hot. I'm aiming at your Sarge over there. Okay. So, uh, three ups to hit. Good. Two hits. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> um, so it's strength six, so it's two ups to wound. Two wounds, and that's AP2 as well. Right, so... Straight to look out, sir. Huh? So I'm going to do one cut, sir, first of all. Okay. Which it makes. So he's gone. I'm going to make the second look out, sir. And then, then I'll have to take a blind test. Indeed. So yeah. I've got initiative four. So I'm okay. Yeah. I didn't really do anything that adventurous, just moved up the squads. Um, didn't move with either heavy weapon teams, so they should still be shooting at full blister skill with what they can see. Let's move on to shooting. I've got my five man missile team. You're going to shoot at this unit here, and I can freeze to hit. Much better. Ouch. Much better. So the majority toughness now is four, because those two adepts are toughness four. So it's going to be two to wound because it's strength eight on the missile launchers because I'm shooting yeah. crack. Yeah. Now I've got to take uh, Feel No Pains. It was, I dinked that one back yeah, when I was it, touching it. it. So, yeah. so uh, Feel No Pains in pairs for those two. Whoa! Hi. So first, first pair are gone. That's nice. No. Second no. pair. Ah, both of them go through. So both services are gone. Oh no. This is a chance of killing my warlord. I mean, this is the invent save, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so looking for a, uh, a five up. Ooh. Hey, when I needed it. Good dice. So uh, now it's the. Cacophonies? Okay. Shooting at the skill axe over there. Right, so I'm going to do these separate because it does have gets hot. So the front guy needs to freeze. Two hits. This guy here. Misses. This guy here. <laughs> gets hot. <laughs> <laughs> and the final guy, because the other guy can't see, this guy here, gets a hit. So, got a free up arm save, this guy here. <laughs> He's dead. So, three hits. Okay. Uh, Two to wounds. Yep. There we go. That's three wounds. Take you five, so you still get your four up arm save, don't you? Yeah, for the skill axe. Come on, come on. Go away. <laughs> go away. <laughs> and I think the dreadnought's gonna just go go for the the warlords. Oh no. Get rid of that graviton shot. Oh please don't. Twelve shots. Looking for two. He's still tough on four now. Uh it was five before, but then it, with the missile launches didn't make a difference. Okay. Alright. Um so I'm looking for twos. Six is to rent. Ouch. So we've got two rounds. And everything is everything. still a wound. So 11 wounds. Oh, God. Okay, so uh, the two wrens will have to be in one saved up. Um, and these ones are all three ups. Was, oh, dear. So can I get all of these as three ups to save my warlord? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, that was close, wasn't it? There's two fails there. Two fails. Yeah. So that's that, and then there's a fill no pain on the. Uh... Makes one. Mm, so they're both dead. That wipes out the rest of that squad. And my warlord. This squad here are all within range. Freeze to hit. We're looking for fours because it's sniper rounds. So two wounds and one rend. Uh, that was a rend, so yeah, just straight to fill no paint. Nothing. So that's the first three go. Yeah, your shooting's been lethal. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done very well in the first two turns, haven't I? Looking for freeze, shooting at this unit of Skillax. Jeez. Been doing very well. <laughs> very well. This is un uncanny. It's uncanny, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Um, like like X Men. Fours to whoa. Okay. And five arms. I'm looking for four ups. Those. That makes one of them is on a, a wound and one guy gets taken away. Whoop. Oh, a few wood. And then I've got two more, but they're just rents, so I've got nothing. So just take another guy off. So because uh, there's no now not any battlesmith uh, merchants anywhere near uh, these two units here, I'm going to have to do leadership checks to see if they can actually move <laughs> this turn. So these guys here, that's a pass, just eight. And these guys here, One. that's just a pass with seven. Okay. Nice. Right, so the staff of this facility have been absolutely massacred. This guy has stayed where he is. Those guys move forward a bit, as did the skill axe that they're next to. And these two groups of skill axe moved up towards the, uh, the dreadnoughts. We've gone beyond preservation of life at the moment, and now it's just try and keep the facility running at all costs. I'm going to start by uh, firing with the skill axe at that squad, just over there. Uh, they're within rapid fire range, so it's going to be eight shots. Ballistic skill four, so looking to three ups. So that's two fails, three fails, sorry. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then it's four ups to wound. So that's four wounds. So we'll do them one at a time then because of different armor saves and everything. Yeah. So, hey. so I can look out serve that one. Aw. So he's dead. One more one, come on. Aw. So the artificer armor's working today. Yeah, yeah. These guys, these guys actually have artificer armor. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody get the labels mixed up last time? Yeah. <laughs> duct, duct tape. Is that like a prank in the Emperor's Children of like <laughs> relabeled his armor artificer? <laughs> hey, Look at that bags. crazy sob. <laughs> so um, that's those shot. Um, now the uh, photon thruster is going to lance across the board to the uh, the dread. So we're looking for three ups to hit. Oh, come on. Master Crafters? Yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> one hit. So, my uh, arm penetration rock for that one. Hopefully getting that result. Ugh, no. Still have to take a blind test, folks. I have been hit. Let's see what happens to him. He's blind. Whee! So, he's snap firing next turn. I could have done with that last turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be firing with these skill axe over there at that squad. Uh, we've got two a rapid firing and two normal shots. Looking for threes. Okay, so that's three hits. And looking for fours to wound. One wound. Two armor save. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Okay, and the other two skill axe. Both of them are in range, so they're going to be doubling up their shots. Looking for the threes. And looking for fours. Oh. oh dear. Okay, that's all of my shooting done. So I'm going to attempt a, a desperate charge with these Tech Priest Auxilia over there, oh, the Space right. Marines. So I guess I'll declare an Overwatch. Look at the sixes. That's a single hit. It's a wind. Okay, it's a three up armor save for these guys. Right. Hey, lovely. Right, so they're going to uh, roll their charge distance. Come on, roll high, roll high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, see how, let's see how far I've got to get first. You're looking for an eight. Come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> so, well, we're going to do it. Uh... Yeah, please, thank you. Rich has declared a challenge between uh, my guys and his praetor, which uh, I accepted because yeah, what else are they going to do? Yeah. Um, my guys are initiative three, so Rich actually gets to do all of his stuff first, and I see if some of my stuff survives. <laughs> so so uh, go on, do, do your worst. So you've got four attacks, looking for fours to hit. One hit. That's good. Uh, no master crafted, nothing. Um, here's a Paragon Blade, Not so it's AP2. Yeah. Take it. That's nothing. Hey! Three inch pilot move, this is the next initiative step. Okay. So looking for fours. Yep. 
and looking for fours again. Strength four against toughness four. One wound. Okay. So not looking great. Three up. Oh. Hey. Better luck. Loves it. Okay. Well, <laughs> both of my dudes survive. Yeah. Hey. So um. Right, let's let's uh, do this nice and climactically. We'll, we'll do the the attacks against your squad first. Looking for fours to hit you, aren't I? Mm -hmm. One hit. That's a four up to wound. Hey. Right, so that would be. That's one dude out of the squad. Unless I take on the prayer to. Uh, don't think you can do a look out so while he's in a challenge from him. Right. Okay. So one guy's dead then. Yeah. And now, against the Praetor. Yes. So, uh, he's it's weapon skill 3 against your Praetor's weapon skill 5, five. isn't it? Yeah. So, so I'm looking for 5s. <laughs> the, the weapon skill... Oh, oh yeah. the weapon skill chart, yeah. Your weapon skill... I'm 3. That's 5. You're forced to hit, mate. Oh, excellent. I'm actually forced to hit. Lovely. Uh, so... <laughs> oh, come on! He uh, he doesn't need to roll a leadership check for technically losing that combat by a single kill, uh, because his warlord trait uh, gave him fearless and it will not die. Yeah. Well, that is the end of my turn. Right. So the dreadnought moved forward six inches. This squad moved forward six inches. These two units stayed there. And this unit's locked in combat. So move on to shooting. Dreadnought's going to shoot, but he is snap firing. I'm going to shoot at these four guys here. See how many casualties he's going to dish there. Well, so looking for sixes. So I am blind. Take it. It's a free. Where did it go? <laughs> it's a free. Okay. One hit. <laughs> <laughs> so being blind sucks. Yeah, it's a bit, bit shame it's too Two to wound. Three, so it's you've wound. got... I oh, don't get an armour safe. Oh. Give me a token of plink on my dude. A little less nasty than usual. Yeah, yeah. Wish I had more of those. But it didn't really seem very fluffy to have loads of photon thrusters just sort of hanging around in this facility. That's not what this facility's for. Alright, so bad guys within wrapped by range. Oh, no. Yeah. I'll run these turns first of all. Freeze to hit. Seven hits, and then let's roll another nine. Three to hit. Really bad. Really bad. That's another three hits. So looking for fours. Three wins. Lots of fails there. Okay. So, uh, four up armor. Mm -hmm. Hey! Alright, hey. so we've got the missile launcher guys here at the back. I'm probably going to go for that unit of four skill axe looking right at me. Five shots, threes to hit, all hit, twos to wound, so three wounds. Uh, so five up. From, yeah, from an enemy unit. Makes Two pain. makes it, so one's dead. that one at the front that took a wound is dead. Yeah. And these cacophonies, two have line of sight. Shooting at who? Sorry, the these guys here. Okay. So the first one, three to hit, two hits, and the second guy, yeah, three to hit, one hit. We're looking for twos to wound, strength six, two wounds. Oh yeah. Hey. Hey, I like it. So uh, on to the close combat phase. I think we remain locked in the challenge. Okay. So the predator, three to hit. We're looking for threes. So, two AP2 wounds. I didn't give him the Cyber Familiar, so he just goes down to that. Oh, no, no, wait, he's ha he wounds. has a he has a Feel No Pain. Two Feel No Pain rolls. Uh, two wounds, so, so he does. Yeah. yeah. So, now the strikes by the remaining squad. This is going to be four to hit. Three hits, four to wounds. Normal armor save, so three ups. Hey, <laughs> he survives. Okay, so he gets, well, two, two attempts to hit on the squad. He's looking for a four up, isn't he? Yes. One hit, one hit four ups to wound. Hey. 
So that means you won the combat because you did, did two wounds compared to my one. Yes. So uh, I've got to pass a leadership check. It's leadership nine. So, fine, yeah, makes it. They are locked in combat still. There's nobody uh, with the battlesmith ability within 24 inches, so we have to do leadership checks to see if these guys can move. So these two down here, looking for under eight. Aye. That'll do nicely. And for these three here, nice. yeah, that'll do nicely. Right, so that's my movement phase finished. Uh, these guys able to move. They moved up towards the Space Marines. These guys moved forwards and left towards these guys as well. And those guys are locked to combat. And the remaining HQ choice, he stayed where he is because he doesn't have relentless. So, to shooting. Um, I'm going to start by shooting that squad there at these guys over here because everybody else is either locked in combat or not worth shooting. Ballistics for four, so looking for threes. And then I'm four to wound. Two wounds. Yeah. So it'll be three ups. Yeah. So we'll take them both at the same time. So one goes down. This one yeah. Lovely. These three over here, they're gonna uh, do a round of shoot. So three ups to hit. Nice. Oh two. Four ups to wound. Uh, <laughs> right, well, uh, Where's this coming from? It's, it's coming from these guys, so it's artificer armor. Oh, two up. Good job. Oh. And these two over here, the Sarge is still the object of their targeting. So they're four shots, threes, and four ups. And he makes it. Okay, that was utterly futile. Last but not least is the photon thruster. Yeah. Yeah, everybody loves photon thrusters, <laughs> but dreadnoughts. So, looking for three ups to hit from over there. We know it's in range. Mastercrafted. Yeah, <laughs> lucky it was mastercrafted. Hey, two hits. For sixes, aren't you? I am indeed. As a six. Hey! So, you got five one. up in one, so. Yep. Was it glance? Oh. So, now roll high again for your uh, blind test. Alright, roll nice and low. Passes. Charges. Uh, we are going to charge with these guys first. Okay, so, okay. Overwatch. Overwatch? Yes. Bump, bump. Yeah, it's like Overwatch, but it comes with oppressive German laughter. <laughs> right, that's 17. So, look at the sixes. There's one. <laughs> the only one. <laughs> <laughs> right, looking for four. Okay, so their charge range. Five inch charge, that looks like to me. Okay. Makes it. One, two, five. Five, six. And then... Whoop, like that. These guys here are going to charge as well. Okay. I need to roll something. Pretty much. Hey, look, I rolled anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, closest to closest first. There. Oh, dear. Then, right, then, so we're gonna yeah do start with the close combat here. Um, Rich's troops get to uh, do their pile of move first because they're initiative four. Eighteen. So hitting on threes. Okay. Looks painful to me. These are two different squads, aren't they? Yes. But this is a squad of two here, yeah. Yeah. And that's got one wound, so they're all gonna go on here anyway. All right, fives. Four armor saves. Yeah, they are four up. Come on, two make it. Uh, that one goes. Okay. Um, and that's all from that squad. Yes. So now the strike back. So we're <laughs> going to start on the one man squad because <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can do that with one hand. Uh, so I'm using the protocol, uh, the um, evisceration protocol. I think they call it. Right. Dismemberment protocol. Yeah, yeah. So where I sacrifice all attacks and make instead one uh, enhanced attack, which is plus three strength and AP two, and unwieldy. So the one dude first, uh, looking for uh, four, to four to hit. Yeah, okay. nice. And so it's two up to wound. Sorry. So that's one AP two strike. And now these other four, uh, the other three. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I wish. So, uh, looking for fours. Two. Two to wound. 
Um, so that's the end of that combat. Mm-hmm. I lost two wounds overall. Yeah, and I lost three. But are your guys fit? Oh no, you doesn't have your warlord with them. No, so minus one. Oh. So they fail. So they're running away. Wow. Right. So um, they they failed the leadership test. So now we're going for the sweeping advance. Oh no. No. Ah! So I'm good. So I feel <sighs> Eight inches. <laughs> Running straight into your own guys. So they've, uh, yeah, they've just gotten away. Yeah, so their reconsolidation just quickly. Five, nine. Nice. And the consolidation for that dude. Six. Nice. Right, so everybody's consolidated over here to uh, make sure that the generators get a cover safe. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, on to the other close combat over there. The Praetor's an attack first. Right, so looking for freeze to hit the Praetor. Uh, two hits. Look at the freeze. So one instant death and one instant save. This is the Paragon Blight. Uh, right, well that that's just him dead then, because he doesn't have a, an, an invern. No. No, yeah, so that's it, end of combat. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> they can get you, to consolidate. Yeah, can you uh, remove my model off the board and consolidate two inches? Ha ha ha. Right, where's the tape measure? Right, the remake. Okay. Cool. The start of the turn leadership test for these guys. Hopefully they're not still running away, so let's see. They're okay. Ah. Right, so this is the start of turn four, uh, the Emperor's Children. So, uh, what did you move? Right, these guys just kind of shimmed over, for hoping to take these guys out, these Skellax. Yeah. These guys consolidated, because I did uh, pass my morale check, yeah. so they're okay. Dreadnought moved over six inches, he is in re- within range of the generator, but I'm no. not sure what I'm going to shoot yet. And the two heavy weapon squads just stay put again, so not snap firing, they should be fine. Okay, so uh, shooting. Right, so let's start with a big pile of dice. Yeah, let's start with the bolters. 12. And I'm going to be shooting at the unit of three, because that's two different units there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Three's to hit. Not bad. And um, four's to wounds, six is to rent. Oh. Rend and two wounds. So the two wounds, uh, I'm looking for a four up. I got our four up, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, one of them gets taken out because they've all got two wounds each. This one here? Uh, yeah, seems to be closest. No. I'm going to shoot bolt pistols from this squad into there. So I want to charge, but I better shoot the prayer to separate because his doesn't actually have sniper. That's a hit, um, that's a wound. For the bolt pistol snipers. <laughs> Two nice. hits. Nice. And nothing. So nice. We've got one armor save to do on that squad. Okay, give a four up, come on. Oh. Uh, shoot five missiles in the face of all those two guys. I'm looking for freeze. Right, two of them missed. Point blank range. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking for twos. Triple one's gone. Oh. Well, uh, that takes one away and leaves one with a single wound remaining. Ouch. You shooting anything more at those? Yeah, the coffin is three guys can see. Got this guy here. Maybe two guys can see, to be honest. Those two there. Okay. So the front guy. Two hits, and this guy, one hit, but no gets hot. Um, two to wins. Two wins. Four up armor. Uh-huh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Oh my god. The dice must like energy. <laughs> right, I did check the range. It is within range to shoot that. Ah. I think I will be dishing the firepower down to the... And he's not blinded this time. Two, four, six. Two's the hit, split skill five. Uh, three misses. And it's toughness six, isn't it? And I'm strength six, so I need fours to wound. Yeah. Very good. That's six wounds. I believe it has six wounds, so. Yes, it's taken out. It's a shame I don't have any uh, end pieces for 
Det er spændt. Mm. Så jeg kan godt se, at hvis man skal skyde til den, så er det nødt med at declare a charge. Rapid firing skill axe bolters. That's 8 shots. And 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Looking in for 6s. I've got 2. That's a 4. So, the 2 hits. Uh, we're looking for four. It's the wound. Three. One wound. I'll do. I'll take this on the predator, I guess. Okay, so uh, roll yeah, a yeah, we'll roll something. Hey, look, he rolled something. Uh, five attacks on the charge of the predator. Freeze to hit. All hit. And your toughness. Five. Yeah, it's force the wounds. Three wounds. Three wounds. Yeah, ouch. So one's on one That'll be that. Oh, that means two's dead because that one had one wound originally. Oh, okay. So that. Now my normal guys. Okay. Looking for fours to hit. That's a lot of misses. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, looking for fives to wounds because your toughness five. Yeah. And strength four. I'll take that. That's three wins. That's pretty good. Ow. So, looking for four ups. Come on, go on, come on, come on! Nice. Yes! <laughs> the dice, they love the energy! <laughs> yeah, I'll do the dismemberment option. Yeah. I, I think I'll go for potency of attack over amount of attacks. So, uh, they got charged, so they're two attacks each. Looking for fours. Oh, man. One. Yeah, uh, and I'm looking for f uh, two up. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, so you lost combat. Yeah, so uh, leadership test. Uh, stubborn, so looking for eight or less. That's oh. nine. Ugh. So uh, initiative test for the sweeping advance. Yeah, and I get to add D3 to my um, sweeping advance. Cause being Do you want to just take them off the table? <laughs> well, the D3 first of all there we go oh, they're, yeah they're gone yeah I'd be the D3 yeah <laughs> <laughs> so consolidate six oh man so. oh wait that'd be damaged the facility lose a victory point yep <laughs> <laughs> D3, actually. <laughs> no, those... They're not in combat. Right. Were they... Oh, no. Doring was saying, were those the ones that had died yeah. previously? And I think he is right, right about that. There aren't any battlesmiths uh, within range of those skill axes over there. So I've got to see if they can actually move or not. They can't. <laughs> it's, um, it's like two units of one there. Yeah, yeah, sorry. And uh, the other one. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so uh, they're going to shoot their skill axe bolters at... Wait, what's the rear armour of your contemptor? I think it's 11. I think it's 11. It might be 10. Don't... Yeah, it's ten, mate. On the contempt at the back? Yeah, yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. Right, so um, this skill axe, <laughs> after failing to actually move, they're going to both swing around and take a pop at the rear armour of the dready there. Because uh, they wow. might, might actually be able to do something. <laughs> so they're in rapid fire range. So four shots. Mm -hmm. oh, I might as well take two squads together. Yeah, just do them both together. It's fine, though. Um, so, looking for threes. That's two hits. And now I'm looking for sixes to have a chance at causing a dink. Hey, one. one! Hey! Can I make my third inventory? <laughs> yeah, the third time in a row. No. Yeah! So it's the bolter which does the damage. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's been shot with a graviton gun, photon thruster, and... So now it's got two hole points around. And the bolter does the damage. Yeah, a, a, a bolter. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so um, the only other shooting attack I could possibly make is the photon thruster over there. Same target, because, you know, why not? Double sixes, you want. So, <laughs> looking for threes. Nice. Both hit, I like. And now I'm looking for sixes to do any damage because it's 12 and strength six. Oh, nothing. So, uh, blind test for you, Mr. Ruchasan. Yes, so I'm looking for a four and under. Please. Oh. Damn. Um, so this quad just moved on up. Um, towards the Magos. Towards the Magos. But you guys kind of just regroup so we can get all line of sight on that one Skelax. So on one of the two separate units yeah. there. The two heavy weapon squads didn't move again because yeah. we still have line of sight. And he moved six inches towards here to give him actual range on this last generator. Move on to shooting, I guess. Yeah, do it. All right, let's start with Dreadnought. Two, four. Two to hit. That's one miss. Wow. One falls to wound. Exactly six again. Ugh. Yeah, bang. Do you mind uh, taking the generator, MRI? These guys are going to shoot. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to get 12 shots as well. So I'm not going to charge. I'm just going to shoot on my bolters. Freeze to hit. Um, and force to wound. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Three rounds. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. So that's that dude. Five missiles into the last Galax. Overkill, <sighs> it seems. And he gets a cover safe. Yeah. Right, four of them hit. Two to wings. Four. Oh, that's some five up cover. Nothing. He is very, very dead. Five of these. You can shoot the bolt bolters in there. I'm not sure what his toughness is. Uh, I believe Megal's dominus toughness four. Right, one of them doesn't have a sniper, so I'm going to do that first. Which is it. Nothing. Any other ones? One rend. Uh, he has a refractor field. He's going to have to take against that. So I'm looking for a five up. Wait. Hey! Nice. So he saves it. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, that's my movement phase done, though basically staying where he is, because he wants to try and kill that dread. So uh, we have two shots, because we're moving straight on to the, the shooting phase. Looking for threes. Two hits. Looking for sixes. One. I thought of them would save. Hey, he thinks it. One whole point. Blind test. Yeah, you know, you're doing a blind test on your dread. He is blind. Yeah, nice. Rolling for the uh, variable game length. And, oh, do you want to do it? Yeah. Carries Solomon. So these guys moved up six inches to try to get into range off the Magos. The blind Dreadnought also moved six inches <laughs> up. He might just be out of the range anyway, so I'm not sure. These guys moved for this uh, facility. They're not going to be in range of anything. But then these heavy weapon squads kind of just, just stay still. They're not going to be doing anything anyway. So. Mm. Mm. Oh well. Right, on to shooting. He is in range. But they're blind, so snap firing, yeah? Yeah. 12 shots. Looking for sixes. Two eggs. What's the toughness? Uh, four on this guy, because so it's just a dominus. Two rounds. Sixes. Two rounds. Ouch. Okay, so... Which cheeses straight through to his uh, refractor field, so I need fives and sixes to to dink this off. Come on, got one. one goes past, so that takes off one of his two wounds. So now he is on one. Okay, so this squad the shooting. Yeah, everyone's shooting apart from this guy here because he's only got a bolt pistol. Yeah, not in so rapid fire seconds, range. Three, four, five, five shots. So. Right. Cruise to hit. Very good. Yeah, all hit. Precision hit. Put on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he didn't do anything. Hey. And then force the wings on snipers. 
Take it. It's a free. So one wound with the five. <laughs> okay, uh, it's a bolt gun, so he gets to take his three up. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's a six. You are safe. Yeah, he survived. End of my movement phase. Uh, he hasn't moved, obviously. <laughs> uh, so, uh, two shots is going on the Dreadnought. I'm going to try and kill it, because it seems like the biggest threat. So, I'm looking for three ups. One Master hit. Crafted, right? Master crafted. Nice. Two hits, lovely. I'm looking for sixes. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Will he save it, though? Five of them would save. Please don't. Yes! He's gone. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> yeah, that was worth 35 points for that gun. <laughs> okay, um, that is the end of my turn. I can't do anything else, so now variable game length. I'll roll this one. Uh, do we have turn six? Yeah. We don't. No, that's the end of the game. Hey, nice I finished with something six. still on the table, although it's clearly a big loss. <laughs> <laughs> Right, left-handed handshake of victory. Well done, Rich. <laughs> yeah, so uh, victory points and stuff, as is the, the way. You got slain the warlord. I did. And you destroyed, destroyed two. two of the generators. So that's two points. And you killed everything but my main boss, so that's Three units of skill axe, two units of auxiliary, and an HQ. And you destroyed just my dreadnought. I think you just whittled down <laughs> most of the squads, but it's just the dreadnought at the end. Yeah, I failed big time on that one. So that's uh, six, eight, nine, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all about the story. Maybe the generators as the secondary objective made it. Bit easier in my well, um, also from a, the plot perspective, it's fine because um, your space marines taking the facility. I mean, yeah, it's it's manned with some pretty serious uh, mechanical guardian automata and stuff. But again, you know, you, space marines should be cutting through that sort of stuff. Yeah, especially yeah, when backed yeah. up with a mortis dreadnought from the ancients. Oh, well, he did some work, mate, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah brings us nicely to. Uh, MVP. <laughs> well, we know who's the MVP for the, the Empress Children. It would be the Contemporary Dreadnought, took down the two generators, whittled down squads. Two squads there. And he took photon thruster shots for two or three turns. He, he alone earned five of your nine victory points. There you go. Yeah, because he it's killed like, Warlord as well, didn't he? Yeah, three, yeah. Wow. Yeah, brutal. Uh, have you... Do you even have a wooden spoon in this game? Mm. I, I don't think you do. No, because even when the guys... Oh, maybe, maybe the Praetor for whiffing the first round of... Um... Yeah, he kind of missed, didn't he? Because my, my dudes got in there, but then... The, they, the, yeah, the, the triple won, that was dark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was going. But then he... Yeah, but your five attack Praetor with a Paragon Blade failed to kill two tech adepts. Well, it's... Five attacks on the charge, there's only four went on. You, you charged me, so you had four attacks. That's my excuse, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think he was definitely your lamest choice there, because, like. Yeah, he didn't do much, mate. I mean, the only thing you, I could really criticise would be your cacophony, because they essentially didn't really have a very good angle. No. It's like two or three of them firing or something. Yeah, like true. And get off twice, saved one, <laughs> killed one. guy died. <laughs> I just take them there because they're quite fun. You know, I like, like the them. imagery of that, like somebody with a sonic weapon has been got by their <laughs> own gun. <Yeah. laughs> Epic. Um, so my MVP it can't be my warlord. Let's go with Photon for us to maybe, in, in my opinion, I'm not sure. Uh, it did the most work, I think. Yeah. Apart from maybe the um, the adepts that tied up the predator. Uh, predator. I keep saying that. Predator. <laughs> Yeah, the adepts that tied up your predator, they might be queuing for it. I mean, essentially, like that that dude, he just did average for what he should do, really. I mean, he was like a hundred and something. Let's see. He was 120 points. But the photon thrust had made the dreadnought blind twice. 
which made him fail shooting twice pretty much. What which saved used. stuff twice, I suppose. Um, he, you know, killed a couple of Marines from both squads. Just, you know, straight through to AP2. I made my lookout so, so at least my artificer are on them. Well, my, my skill acts also did well. The dismemberment attack was brutal. Cheesed through your artificer on them. That was crazy. I was lucky we ran away, to be honest, oh, because I, that allowed me to regroup and shoot. Oh, yeah, they failed. The <laughs> and then you failed the sweeper's back, so... Yeah. I was quite fortunate there as well, to be honest, but, yeah. Nice and cinematic. It cleared you out of this, the facility for a bit. Yeah, if I was locked in for another round, though, I think I'd be gone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But when I get the charge of veterans, I get three attacks because you get two attacks yeah, base. Yeah, savage. Yeah. Um, which is great, you know, it's um, small attacks. You know, it's what, 30 attacks on the charge? What do you want? It's, yeah. So I do like to do that. I do have Mark Freeze on the way, so they will be standard Marines. Nice. Um, uh, yeah, so um, Photon Thruster, Nagel's Dominus is my MVP. Just fair play, the, the secondary HQ bullet. Yeah. Which is yeah. strange for a mechanical army, but it's not usually the case. And he survived as well, so he'd be in the next scenario. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speaking of the next scenario, um, going downstairs, because all those pipes and stuff were pointed downstairs, what did you just shut down? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, how am I getting downstairs then? Beyond, beyond that bit, you know, there's only one wall okay. existent here, so. That, that would. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's. What we, oh, what was my fail quickly? Which. What, my, war, my warlord. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's war a duality with the HQs for me this time. Yeah, they got shot off the board straight away as well. Straight away? I was very lucky with my fire and my first two turns looked like it was uh, yeah. crazy. He could have really been done with being made an Archmagel for 35 points because yeah. I would have given him an extra wound so he wouldn't have been punched straight away. That would have been he'd had a two up armor save as well. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Sure. When, when you said he only had a three up armor save, I was like, right, but crack missiles can actually hurt him. Yeah. Well, for people who are watching, I'm, I am kind of choosing stuff to be thematic rather than awesome. Otherwise, I would have been bristling with photon thrusters. There would have been like a, a team of myrmidons with a photon thruster and Volkai. Yeah. <laughs> well, they might pop up the next game, though, might they? The myrmidons and the Volkai. We'll wait and see what you shut off. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Well, I'm playing DM in 40k and 30k. Mr. Dreadnought Contemptor with the assault cannons probably won't be coming back. He's being. Well, you've got another Dreadnought, so. Uh, many Dreadnoughts. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man of many Dreadnoughts. <laughs> I don't dread Norse often, but <laughs> I did. <laughs> so, yeah, so. I'm not sure what they're about to do. Right, well, that seems a fitting place to end it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody.